Okay, so here is your Crosley. This is basically a Whirlpool design. Your dryer won't not come on. First thing you want to do is check your lid switch, your door switch. You want to hear that click. If you don't hear that click, you're going to have to replace that switch. This, this one's good. Uh, you can check your barrel to see if it spins. If it spins freely, then you can eliminate uh, some problems. Look back here and see if you have the lint built up here or there. And on this one, actually what it is, is this thermal fuse. And so this is the thermal fuse here. And this normally blows when you have bad flow coming out of here. If it's stopped up, this will blow. It's easy to check. Put your meter on ohms. Go across the two leads here. You should see continuity. So your meter should read here like this, right? It should go zeros. And so, you don't see zeros when you measure across these terminals, uh, then that thermal fuse is gone. It's, it's a non-resettable fuse, it has to be replaced. You can also check this thermostat and heat element by going across here. And here we have good uh, heat element and thermostat. There's another thermostat up here. You can also check for continuity. This one is good. So the only thing is wrong is this thermal fuse. This thermal fuse, on this particular model, it will not allow it to turn on. So if your dryer does not turn on at all, then replace this thermal fuse here, and you should be good. Thanks for watching. If you need any help, you can contact me. I give phone advice for $25, 707-443-8347 Pacific Time. Thanks for watching. Please support.